What's going on guys? Welcome back to a mod showcase for Ark Survival Evolved. I am currently not home. I'm actually borrowing Demo Storms, my brother's uh, gaming setup, because uh, my scheduled flight was a little different than what I planned, so I didn't have any videos for today, so I'm using his setup in order to record this episode. So today we're going to be going over a mod, which is pretty much through and through the Game of Thrones mod. It's pretty freaking awesome. As you can tell, I'm actually wearing, uh, yeah. Pretty much, pretty much, pretty much. Why can't I even think the night watch the night's watch armor? So there's a ton of different armors. Obviously, we can go with like the king's chest piece. We can get the primitive female fighter stuff. We can get a dress. We can get a bunch of different helmets. We can get Ching King Joffrey's crown. He's a fucker and deserves to die. Even though, well, I mean, let's not do into any spoilers, will we? Um, if you guys haven't seen Game of Thrones, I would recommend not going into the comment section down below. That's probably my best opinion that I can give you. I didn't grab that stuff. Just don't go in the comment section down below if you haven't seen Game of Thrones. There's going to be people spoiling it just because I made this episode. So, let's go ahead and throw on this little uh, girl's armor. I guess it just looks like leather, unless you are a girl. I think if you're a girl, it actually looks different. Um, and then... We'll throw on a little bit of uh, another girl's armor. Might, again, look just like leather because I'm not a girl. And then we have a few other things to try on. We got the King's Guard's chest piece. Pretty cool looking. It's it's all pretty, like, untextured and pretty basic, but it's still really awesome. Um, I really didn't have any issues at all installing this mod either. Generally, if a mod has issues being installed then I, I just generally don't install it because it's just too much of a worry to figure it out and most of the time I don't want to deal with it so yeah but it looks pretty cool I like the mod it's pretty awesome uh, you can't just build armors you can build the unsullied spear you can build the long claw you can bid uh, Ned Stark sword let's do that there's a few shields of the unsullied and the valerian steel shield um, and obviously uh, the Iraq of course of course and um, they are all used normal, so this is obviously one of the swords. And this is the Unsullied Spear. It's pretty freaking awesome. Um, and then this little Game of Thrones symbol that you see on the ground is actually kind of like a smithy used to build all and things Game of Thrones. So you have a, a Jon Snow bust, you have a Marjorie bust, you have a whole bunch of other things, White Walker bust. You have lamp posts, you have princesses' beds, you have queen's beds, you have turkey feasts that actually have food in them, the golden table, uh, chalices and vases, and all this kind of cool stuff. So there's a whole bunch of things you can do, and obviously you can build the Iron Throne, which we have one over here. So I built a few examples. So I built the Iron Throne, I built the turkey dinner, and the golden table. So here's the Iron Throne. You can, of course, sit in it, which is pretty awesome. And of course, we're going to have to put on the... Uh, the Night's Watch with the with the the crown, of course, of course. So you can sit on it. The turkey dinner actually, when you craft it, does have food. It's got mixed vegetables and turkey in it, which you can actually eat for food. And then there's also, of course, the golden table, which is just kind of like a thing that you can pick up and like throw around and do stuff with. It's nothing like too epic. It's just a table. It's meant to be obviously a table. So you guys could probably notice that we're not on the normal map. So we're actually on a map called Umasasora. I believe I probably butchered the name, but you guys can find it in the link down below. We're going to fly around the map a little bit, so this is going to be a triple mod showcase as well. Uh, on top of that, we also have Wild Dino Mod, which means um, pretty much it's like natural Wild Dino Mod, which means that there is going to be baby dinosaurs running around with their mothers. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to find any. I think I have to do a Wild Dino Wipe in order to see them. It seems like there's a ton of alphas on this map already. But this map kind of works in a biome-based system, just like the original map. This is kind of like the sandy beach biome. This one's going to be the hilly, rocky, like, clay mountain biome almost. And it gets a little bit more dangerous the higher you go up this mountain. There's, of course, a really cool waterfall over here. And then over to the right, you're going to see the regular old mountainous area, kind of like what you would see on all the original maps. And what really sets this map apart is the waterfall noises you can hear that in the background it's really freaking serene um the reason why i would personally never use this map on a server is because of just the all the nooks and crannies that people can hide in um there's a few like secrets on the map like you can go underneath some of these waterfalls 
and like get into these crevices and into these like kind of more even serene areas that lead to more waterfalls and there's a ton of different caves throughout the map honestly it's one of my favorite looking maps of all time to be honest with you but like i said it's not really optimized for a pvp scenario any pve scenario this map would be really freaking awesome to like build on and play around on go ahead go up in some stamina so yeah, this is a pretty dope map. We're going to fly around a little bit longer. I'm going to see if I can find any baby dinos. Uh, I thought I would do the Game of Thrones mod in in slew of, obviously, the Game of Thrones starting back up. Um, I do keep up with it myself personally, so spoilers aren't really a huge thing for me. But again, I'll warn you, do not go in the comment section if you don't want anything spoiled. And don't get angry. So here we have ourselves a baby toitle, an adorable baby turtle. And I believe they are set to, like, naturally follow their mother, which is actually a female turtle. Um, so, yeah. So it's a juvenile. I don't know if you can knock them out and tame them. I'm personally not going to try it. You guys can download it and try it yourselves if you really wanted to. This seems like a mod that I actually might add on to my server. It doesn't seem unbalanced. It doesn't seem like it's going to change anything. Um, but I'm pretty sure the juveniles work similar to how a regular baby dinosaur would work. Once you tame them and they're yours, you still have to watch after them and, like, really work pretty hard to get them to be full-grown. So you're better off just taming the full-grown one anyway. But, yeah, they are freaking adorable. Not gonna lie. Absolutely adorable. So let's move on. We found uh, the baby dinosaurs like we wanted to. And let's just head around the map a little bit more. I want to personally go to the snow biome. The snow biome is one of the coolest parts of this map. Most of these areas that you're seeing right now are pretty bland, pretty normal. Just kind of like what you expect. Centralized river. Uh, most dinosaurs spawn around the rivers. There's a few, again, like this thing over here that's kind of like a ruptured... Um, I want to say pallet, but it's obviously not a pallet. It's kind of like a ruptured part of the map due to, like volcanic action and that kind of stuff here's the waterfall and then the, the kind of weird dune system so we'll fly up here and i'll show you around up here as well and then we'll head over to the snow biome and uh should be pretty awesome so it's really flat up here uh i don't think this river is actually supposed to be dried up i think it's just bugged personally um uh, but up here it's extremely flat this is like kind of like uh where you would expect brontos to be roaming around it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Again, I would never use this map for PvP ever. Mainly because of just how many nooks and crannies. Also, how big it is. It's a big freaking map. It's definitely built for like a 50-person server of just constant like building and action and flying and killing. Um, if you were ever going to do PvP on this. But generally, my server only gets to about 20 players during the PvP scenarios. So, can't really do much about that. It is a really freaking cool map, though. There's a few little, like, man-made, quote-unquote, additions to the map. As we're coming up on this mountain over here, you're going to see that there's kind of, like, a... Almost like a roadway that was built uh, on the mountain for you to be able to get up there with your dinosaur. So, in that in that regard, they definitely did a good job. Because on the original map, there's many locations where people can build bases and larger dinosaurs just can't get up there. And you pretty much have to fly to it, i.e., like, the volcano on the original map. So, they did a really good job at kind of balancing out the map that most dinosaurs can get everywhere it just takes a little bit longer um so up here you're gonna see like this natural walkway which is a really cool addition honestly i love it of course it's blocked by rocks and that kind of stuff so you're gonna have to break the rocks and get them out of the way now that it's stopped raining i can finally hear again so this is kind of like the natural what you would expect biome um of course, snowtop mountains that are pretty dangerous and pretty scary. I'm going to hide over, head over to the volcano one, which is this one dead ahead. So in this world, the whole Game of Thrones edition with this map kind of is awesome. Um, I feel like if you're ever going to do anything with Game of Thrones, you should have a huge map, mainly because Westeros is a fucking massive area. I know Westeros is not the only part of Game of Thrones, but it is a really large area. And uh, the map is not finished. I believe he said it was 60% complete. So when you see, like, all these very flat areas of one color, you can kind of tell what, like, what he's planning to put there is based on the color of the ground. So 
like over here you're gonna expect a lot of trees a lot of rocks a lot of like normal stuff going on when you come up here you're gonna expect a lot of like oil and obviously snow dinosaurs like mammoths and saber tooth and dire wolves and dire bears and all this kind of stuff so um this is one of the caves off to the left um I don't know how big this cave is. I've been in several of the caves on the map. There is a few of them. You guys just saw me fly through the, uh, the waterfall one. But we're going to go down here, and we're going to fly through this one as well, if I can fit. Again, I don't know if it's blocked off by volcano. It may as well be. Yep, okay. I thought this was a cave, but I think this is actually the beginning of the volcano. If we go up here, you're going to see the the opening at the top and then we'll pretty much end this episode here but it is a pretty cool map if you guys want to check it out there will be a link in the description as well as the two other mods that i showed in this the game of thrones mod and the uh normal wild dinos mod or whatever the hell it's called the one that makes you have baby dinos roaming around with their mothers and such so uh that does include t-rexes that does include gigas it includes pretty much every other dinosaur um they're just not as common as you would believe so don't fully expect it to like always find a baby dinosaur wherever you go they just kind of like are roaming around how you would expect baby dinosaurs to roam around so let's get to the top here get an overview of the huge map up here it should open up into like a volcano okay looks like this portion isn't finished yet and they haven't added the uh molten lava yet and this is another reason why obviously you can't use this map as a map yet because somebody would definitely build in here uh, honestly it would be a really fucking cool build to build in here but at the same time it's just not something that you really want someone to do because it's a little unfair a little unfair so thank you guys for stopping by this mod showcase honestly uh best mod out of the three i would say is the game of thrones mod mainly because it could be used you could use that on any server would I personally use it? No, mainly because the armors are a little, their values of the armor are a little overboard. Um, if I show you here, um, the chest piece has 97.2, the pants have 94.4, the gloves and the boots obviously balance it out. The hat, the freaking crown has 120, uh, opposed to like f these 155, 121, 136. Their values are just a little too high for me to use it. I could edit an INI and, I and make it a little lower, but that would just be too much of an effort for just different types of armors. And I'm pretty sure they're just reskinned types of armors, so um, this could be a reskinned Mastercraft flak armor, and this is a reskinned, like, normal one, if that makes sense. That's pretty much what they are, so it could break some files if I were to add that to my server. But I'm thinking about actually adding the, the Baby Dino mod. Uh, let me guys, let me know if you would like that. Uh, where they actually are roaming around. That'd be pretty awesome to find, like, some baby T-Rexes and stuff. Um, but I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.